Hello, I'm Andy Howes. I am the Programme Director of the PGC Secondary Course here at the University of Manchester. I'm also one of the tutors in the science part of the PGCE. Back in the 1980s, I was an engineer and started off in that profession before moving into education. And that is relevant to the course that I'm introducing today. Engineers Teach Physics is a new strand within our science PGCE course. It's sponsored by the Department for Education and it's part of a range of initiatives trying to get more engineers to think of themselves as potential teachers. It's really exciting for us as we know that engineers make really good teachers uh, and yet at the moment not enough teachers of physics with a specialism in that subject are coming into the profession. This course is targeted both at young graduates coming from engineering degrees and also from engineers who have been working in the profession for some time. The important point about teaching in high schools is that you actively have to want to work with young people day in, day out. And it's those young people who will benefit from the kind of skills that engineers can bring to the profession. Practical knowledge, understanding of problem solving, and direct knowledge of the industries and places that young people can go on to in their careers. I myself was an engineer and switching to education is something I've never regretted for a moment. This is a course which allows you to make a real difference with young people across schools and colleges, really invigorating the teaching of science. Teaching on the course is very much oriented towards the development of your skills and understanding of working in classrooms, in laboratories and in the wider school or college. What we find particularly important is that you learn to be a reflective and critical educator so that you can meet the challenges of schools at the moment but also the developing challenges within the profession. And here we're thinking particularly of things like responding to the climate and environmental crisis which is something that schools have to address and which young people are particularly going to be affected by and needing to be part of the solution to. Within the university, trainees work alongside teachers from other disciplines such as biology and chemistry and other subjects as well and that's of great mutual benefit. There's also plenty of access to specific specialist materials to increase and supplement subject knowledge in the areas of teaching physics that you may be less familiar with and less confident in. The vast majority of graduates from this strand of the PGC science course will move directly into employment locally as physics teachers or teachers of physics and maths. Some of them will move into destinations in schools and colleges in other parts of the UK and some will move into international schools such as one trainee last week who secured his first post in the Canary Islands as a physics teacher. The important point is that whether just down the road or across the ocean in a different context this is the opportunity to really make a difference to the educational quality in science, in physics, of young people who desperately need these opportunities.